What are you doing? What's happening? My husband is just at the window being weird. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So today, hopefully, is Monday. Things suddenly change around these parts, but my intention is that when you're watching this, this will be Monday. And you may be thinking, Charlotte, this isn't Tuesday. What are you doing here? But maybe you don't think that because let's be honest, my uploading schedule has been sporadic to say the least. So if you are thinking what are you here for on a Monday, Charlotte, give us some peace and quiet, okay? We're just trying to get on with our lives. This is the first week since both my children have gone back to school. My little boy has just um, turned four, so he's just started at school for the very first time. Hence the reason why I'm rocking my like school run lack of makeup. I've literally got gloss, eyebrows, mascara, and a little bit of BFF cream to help my face out. But we are here. We're able to freely film a lot more these days. For now, we'll see. We'll see what happens post-corona work life. But for the moment, my plan is that you're going to be seeing more of me, certainly Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 p.m. UK time, but maybe even more. Who even knows what's anything's possible? So just expect the unexpected. Expect me to pop up willy-nilly all over the place. Back to today. So today we're doing another epic haul video. We've got some beauty stuff. We've got some clothing. We've got a PR package. We've got some nails. <laughs> I'm not swearing at you. I'm so sorry. So yeah, we had a little incident this morning, but we've got lots of packages to open. I'm gonna be opening them. I'm gonna be opening them all with you, doing some first impressions, letting you know what I've picked up, why, why I've picked it up, what am I doing? I feel like this whole haul, whole haul, I feel like this whole haul is very autumnal, if you will. If you're from the US, you say fall. Here we say autumn. This whole haul is very autumn vibey. The clothing is like perfect autumn clothing. The makeup and the nails, they're all like autumnal shades and colours and vibes. That's that's just how I feel, you know? It's an autumnal sesh is what it is. So let's start off with this giant pile of clothing back here because it's affecting the aesthetic. It's affecting my eye. I don't like it just it's a mess. I'd like to be able to tidy it up. So let's start with that. <laughs> Swivel. So this was an ASOS haul. I got a load of stuff from ASOS this week. And yeah, I have no regrets. There was one thing that I sent back, which was a hooded, like a hoodie dress that arrived. It turned out it was kind of similar to this color, maybe a bit more a softer purple. Um, so it was just, I wanted it to be much more vibrant and brighter and it was also ginormous. I mean, it was supposed to be oversized, but it was like, it was oversized. It was so oversized, two of me could have fit in there. So that went back. Um, I'll show you a sort of model shot of each of these items because I don't have the space here to show you a full length. So I will have like a picture of someone wearing each item as we go for why not. So first up, this jumper dress. This is actually mango, um, but yeah, I got it from ASOS. So I'll link everything down below. But oh my God, I just love this color. It's the perfect bright red. This material is actually, it's not, it's knitted obviously, but it's not super thick because I get really hot. And here in the UK, in like autumn and winter, it's chilly, you'll wanna wear something like this, but if you go inside, probably there's heating on and I immediately get way too hot if I've got a long sleeve, very thick type of outfit on. So this is perfect for me because I could put a vest on underneath this and be a little warmer, layer up, put a coat on, but when I go inside, it's not gonna be boiling and it's got these really cute sort of oversized sleeve with a little ruching detail here. It's beautiful. It's the perfect length. It's not too short. It's school run appropriate. You're not going to see any cheek. So I love that. This is another item. I mean, my whole life when it comes to clothing revolves around whether it's going to make me too hot or not. And I don't really love a lot of long sleeve, a lot of very heavy 
knit because I just get so hot all the time. So this is, again, this is another brand. So this is Urban Bliss that this is by. And this is a sleeveless knit with like a roll neck situation, but it's super long. See how long? See how long? It's actually like a tunic, which I love because again, I can wear this with leggings or jeggings or jeans or joggings. Is that a thing? And not have to worry about that it's too short, this riding up that you can see my vagina, you know? I like that. I like that it's sleeveless. So it's again, I'm not going to get too, 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 too hot. I can layer it up. But if I get inside, there's heating on, I'm too hot. I've got a little sleeveless number underneath. I think this is so cute. Obsessed with it. Next up, another jumper dress, like a sweater dress. This one I liked much more than the purple one I sent back. I love this color. This, is it khaki? This kind of army green khaki, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is just a jumper dress, no hood. It's got a slight sort of um, stretch to the waist, not waistband, the hem, who knows, which I love because it just makes it, instead of it just being a balloon, it kind of shapes it slightly. Again, this is just the perfect length. This probably isn't school run friendly. I mean, who cares if you want to cause a stir? Maybe it is, but this is a, just above the knee. Uh, so yeah, I mean, depends how risque you're feeling, but yeah, for me, this is like cash date night, drinks with the girls, that type of thing. Uh, again, like it's not super thick, it's sweater, sweatshirt material. So yeah, super cash, perfect for autumn. And then I got this dress. There's no real point in me holding this up because it's not going to do it justice. The only thing that's going to do it justice is the photo. And I apologize. I can only apologize because I think this is sold out. I think I bought like the last one, but here's, here's some hope for you if you need hope right now. I, this was sold out for a very long time on ASOS and I set up an alert for if it came back into stock and it did and I got one. So you never know, that could be you as well, okay? That's why I'm showing you this. Don't yell at me, it might happen, it might come back. This is actually French Connection and it was on sale and it's basically a sweater dress but it has this super cute shirt detail and this gorgeous tie. It's glorious, it looks exactly like the picture on, it's super flattering. It's again, it's perfect like date night, perfect sort of smile cash drinks with the girls that kind of thing shorter sleeve but it's quite warm as well so yeah I'm in love with this and super stoked that I got it on sale but yeah again if I just hold it up it looks like nothing but it's so beautiful on and the last but by no means least thing that I picked up from ASOS is these immense boots these are Bershka and oh my God, I saw these last year and they sold out like instantly before, like while I was still procrastinating about them. Uh, they are just the perfect boot. They're like right up to the knee. You can see their like slouch material, their leather. Um, really, really nice, good quality boots. The perfect length of heel and like a chunky heel, so it's not gonna hurt your feet sort of running around town, the perfect height, and they don't fall down your leg. They just stay there because they're like that firmer leather rather than being that suede or that really thin sort of sock type material. They are just gorgeous. I'm so happy with them. Again, they sold out very, very quickly, so I apologize if they're still sold out. They had them in black, I will say that, uh, so yeah don't yell at me. They will maybe come back in stock. So, but I'm obsessed. These are just the ultimate perfect smart cash dress it up. I mean, I could wear these with any of those like jumper dresses and look sexy as hell. Look out. So next up, I'm going to share with you this little Chanel number. Now, if you're a hardcore subscriber, you will already have seen my review of what is in here. But I just wanted to show you this packaging because it was a treat, let me tell you. First of all, it came in this box, which isn't that exciting. It's just a box that says Chanel. It's a very plain, unbougie box, but you'll never guess. You'll never guess who packed my box. Charlotte did. Charlotte packed it. Can you flip and believe it? You probably can. It's not that unusual a name, but I was tickled by that. So this is the little box that was inside that box. So, I mean, I feel like if you order something from a bougie brand, you should get 
this kind of experience, shouldn't you? Treat, treat me, treat me, spoil me. I love it. Can't get enough. So you open this up and it's this little, come on. If that, if that isn't like sexy to you, <laughs> I don't know. You're, you're normal. This is what has my little samples in it. It's only a little face cream and a perfume sample, but it's the little things, you know, the little things. The actual foundation, by the way, that's what's in here, is in this little nest, this little bird's nest of luxury is where this foundation came. So I'm still making my mind up about this foundation. If you watch my review, you know that I wasn't super obsessed, but I was obsessed with the box. So that's something, isn't it? But a little bit alarming. I'll put them down. We're in. We're in. So, so this little number is from Amazon and it's a load of storage. Oh my God. Why is it so well packaged? I'm going to have to get all this out now. Jesus. So yeah, this is makeup storage. I ordered some new shelving from Ikea this month and I'm going to sort of have a little reorganize. What a horrible sound. So sorry. But if I have to hear it, you have to hear it, all right? You're just lucky I'm not doing it right next to the microphone or we'll all be deaf. Let me in. I don't even remember what this is. What is, what is this? So as I was saying three hours ago, in here is a load of like makeup storage type of products. So I've got two of these, which are lipstick holders. I've ordered a load of Ikea shelves to go up the side of my dress, like my dressing table where I do the makeups and these are I've got two of these are lipstick holders you can see in there and they're going to go on the shelf so I can have all my lipstick up on the shelf and be organized and tidy because at the moment I have like a couple of lipstick holders but they're just not enough this holds 40 and I've got two of these so everything will now be in a nice orderly fashion rather than some in a drawer some shoved willy-nilly about the place. So I got two of those and then I got one of these. Now this is a, I don't know which way it goes, that way? Which way does it go? This way, this way, this way, that way. Which way? This is a nail varnish storage shelf, which again, my nail polish, it's not displayed as effectively as it could be. So I picked up one of these. So we're just gonna be really nice, and organized and neat and tidy, which is the only way I can survive. So yeah, I got a load of that from Amazonian. Next up, cheeky little package from Look Fantastic. I flipping love for Look Fantastic. I know I say this every time, but I feel like they do free shipping over a reasonable amount. I'm not sure exactly the amount. And it's just so fast. It's always here like within two days and it's not next day expensive shipping. It's just the normal shipping and it's always super fast. So I picked up two of the OPI shadows from their new Muse of Milan collection. The first I waxed straight on my nails this morning, it wasn't, this is an unrelated incident. This isn't OPI's fault. It's a really unfortunate finger to have hurt. So this is the Susie Talks With Her Hands shade, which is just gorgeous. I love these kind of greys, but this one has like a bit of a sagey tone to it, love it. And then this one is Falling For Milan. You see what they've done there? Do you see? why I said this is an autumnal slash fall vibe. This is just on first glance a nude, but it has this really subtle shimmer in there. Can you see that? Just makes it that little bit different to anything else I've got. And then last but not least, I got this uh, lip balm from NARS, it's one of their afterglow, afterglow lip balms in the shade Dolce Vita. Duh. Now I have already whacked this on my lips because this is how impatient I couldn't wait to do this video. I had to try this and I love it. It's one of my favorite of these balmy with color types of product. You can barely see it. This is literally the color of my lips. So it just gives me a nice juicy, healthy looking lip and it actually feels the perfect amount of like balm. It's not as thin and slippy as the Fenty. It's got a bit more to it. It's a bit thicker, slightly thicker, but it just feels a bit more 
balmy and nourishing. I absolutely love it. It might be my favorite formula of those types of product. I absolutely love it. Next up, a little John Lewis packaging. Not the most bougie there, John Lewis. Could have, could have done better. So from John Lewis, I got a couple of lip products. I seem to have gone nuts for lip products, I'm just realizing. Whoops. The first is this Estee Lauder lip in the shade Peerless. Now I bought um, an Estee Lauder lipstick. This is the Pure Color Envy. I bought one of these a few months ago in a, like a bright orange shade. And the formula is to die for, like the most underrated lipsticks there are. I obsess with the formula, the pigment, the wear time, how comfortable and beautiful it feels and looks on the lips. And I needed more. So I wanted to get a nude, so I was stalking Temptalia's swatches and this is the one I went for and it is it's perfect the feel of this lipstick on your lips is like oh, satisfying isn't it it's like nothing else I absolutely love it there's no lipstick that feels as nice as that on my lips it feels so nourishing and just comfortable I just love it it feels nicer than bare naked lips it really does I absolutely love the formula so underrated I want 100 more of them and next up I got one of the new powder kiss liquid lipsticks from MAC now I know what you're thinking Charlotte you don't like liquid lipsticks what are you buying that for you said you weren't gonna buy them anymore I know Ooh. oh oh Vanillary, there's like cake. These are supposed to be more of a mousse-like texture, not a sort of drying down matte. So I am excited to try these. It's a similar sort of shade, uh, but a matte finish, obviously, to the Estee Lauder. Really excited to try these. I will review this formula at some point because MAC claim this is a hydrating liquid lipstick, which frankly sounds blasphemous to me. I don't know how you could say such a thing. So I'm I'm determined to put that to the test and we'll see, we'll see what happens because I, I quite frankly don't believe you, Mac. I don't believe you. And I'll see you in court. Oh, this is exciting. So this little package is from P. Louise and this is her base, her um, eyeshadow base. Now, you know me, I'm a concealer on the eyeballs, mm, not on the eyeballs, I don't recommend that, on the eyelids. I'm a concealer to prep for eyeshadow kind of girl. I'm a very simple, basic kind of girl. But I've been watching, I mean, I've been watching a lot of Robert Walsh my whole life. Well, maybe not my whole life, but a, a lot of it, it feels like. And he just hates my guts because I do that, because I use concealer as eyeshadow primer. And um, I just, I don't want, to let him down. I feel like I have to do everything he tells me. I feel like if Robert says it, we should do it. That's how I feel. He knows what he's talking about. I feel really attacked by his comments regarding concealer prep for eyeshadow. So I thought, well, let's see, Robert. Let's see if you're right about this too. So I decided to pick up a proper eyeshadow base and just see, see if I can make it work for me. I've tried several before, didn't like them, weren't my thing, wasn't impressed, can't use them. I've used this twice now, just because I wanted to just see, see what I thought. What I will say was, when you put this on, you use the tiny, tiniest amount. And I thought this was gonna look really super heavy, cakey, like crazy, because that's what I've seen on Instagram. Using a tiny dot of this, this looks so beautiful on the eye. It's so much thinner and more natural looking than concealer on the eye, but it still covers everything. And it just, it's got the most beautiful natural finish on the eye. I'm struggling so far to actually blend eyeshadow on top of it because it is very, very different to blending on top of like set powdered concealer. It's obviously tackier, it's a whole different thing. So it's gonna take some getting used to it. So I'll come back to you on what my verdict is. But for now, the jury is out. I don't know why there's so many law and order references today. What have I been watching on TV? So next up, I've got this PR package from Pixie. I'm just gonna open it so you don't all see my address because that feels like a mistake. So inside this, oh, is some of their new palettes. They also sent across some stencils so you could do some fancy swatches, which is pretty 
awesome, isn't it? So they've got like a pixie, 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 pixie stencil to do fancy swatches. And inside here, oh, that one's trying to sneak out. There are two eyeshadow palettes. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna drop something. Let's put this down for God's sake. There are two eyeshadow palettes and two of these blush palettes, I guess. I mean, it looks like it's blush and highlight too. I'm going to put one each of these into my giveaway that I'm just trying to finalise. I know lots of you are waiting for that, but I just keep, I know I'm getting some packages coming in the next couple of weeks and I just really, I want to make it as good as possible and I just keep adding things to it. So that's why it hasn't arrived yet on Instagram because I'm just keep on putting extra stuff in there, which I'm sure you guys will end up being happy about. I'm looking around, I'm thinking this is the last package. This is the last package, so hang in there, guys. And this one is from Boots. What a classic. We love a bit of Boots around here. Yes, we do. So in here, we've got the dye of all dyes. This is my hair dye. If any of you guys have ever been asking me what dye I use, it's the L'Oreal Black Cherry 360 the casting creme gloss this is what my hair always is people seem to think i'm just constantly changing my hair it's always the same color it's been the same color for years this is the only dye i use every time it's either freshly done like now or it's faded but it's always that that's what it always is i've put got it in the description box that's what it is i need a little cheeky top up because i can't be without it i always need to have a box ready to go at any given time. I also picked up a new signature brow pencil from KVD Beauty. As you guys know, this is like my favorite ultimate dream brow pencil and it is now sold at Boots, which is amazing. Boots are just getting all the brands at the moment, which is very exciting. And then I picked up another lip product. Who is she? This is another one of the Fenty Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipsticks, which I love. And this is the shade Cookies and Cocoa. So I already have the darkest brown. What is it called? Something about rum, I believe. And I wanted like a more sort of winter in my fairer skin, everyday, easier wear shade. And this is the one I went for. Oh yes, it's gonna be perfect. I wasn't sure between this one and Glazed, which I should go for, but I wanted more of a brownie nude and I think Glaze is a pinkier nude. So this is it here next to the NARS one. So as you can see, the NARS is that more pinky sort of mauve tone, whereas this Cookies and Cocoa is the perfect brown toned nude. So that is exactly what I wanted. And I also got this free gift because I spent, I think it was over 30 pounds on Fenty. You got this free gift, which is a little, sleeve a Fenty sleeve and it's got a mini of their mascara in it so I'm gonna actually put that in my giveaway as well because I've tried that mascara um, and I liked it but I didn't repurchase it so yeah I'm gonna give someone a chance to try the Fenty mascara and get this little Fenty sleeve which is super cute for like carrying a few essentials in so there you have it we're at the end that is the end of this epic haul this autumnal haul for fall wasted here. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you are ready for more uploads from me every week. <laughs> Who could get enough of this face? And I hope you... I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye-bye-bye.